Hi, students. So today in class, we were talking about how melting point and freezing point are the same temperature. And some of you are a little confused by that. So hopefully this video will make it more clear. So here I have, how is, how is it that melting point is the same as freezing point, right? Okay, so I'm going to write this again. Melting point equals freezing point. Ooh, okay. All right, I know the light is kind of glaring. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you at, hold on, let me do something real fast here. Okay, I went to get some thicker markers. So let's try again. Melting point equals freezing point. Now you might say, how does that make sense? Well, I'm gonna ask you this question. At what temperature does water freeze? Water freezes at, I'm just gonna leave this blank for a second. And then here I'm gonna say ice melts at. All right, so if this were, I'll fill in the blank. Well, water freezes at what temperature? It freezes at either zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, what about ice? If you were going to school in the morning and it's February in New Jersey and it's 25 degrees, you know that there would be ice on the ground. But while you're at school, the temperature goes up to 40 degrees. And you know when you walk home, you'd see puddles. Well, at what temperature did that ice start melting? Guess what? The same temperature. Zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So the truth is you already knew that. Water freezes and ice melts at exactly the same temperatures. But if this is still confusing, let me give you this example. So let's imagine that after school today, here you are at home in your house and your mom or dad said, after school today, we're gonna go to the store. And I know this is not the best drawing of a car, but this is just an example. Okay, so here's your little window and the door. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to the store. Now, in order for you to leave the house and get into the car, what do you have to do? You have to walk out of the door. You gotta walk out of the door. You walk out of the door and you get into the car and then you go to the store. And let's say an hour later, you come home. You got groceries, you come back. Now, in order for you to get your groceries into the house, what do you have to do? You have to go into the door. So to leave out of the house, you go through the door. To come back into the house, you go through the door. Same door. So here we go, quickly. Here's the door. Solid on this side. Liquid on this side. If something is turning into a liquid, it goes through the door. If something is turning from a liquid into a solid, it goes through the door. This is why the melting point is exactly the same as the freezing point. 